Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you a new way to process your images, a way that's been getting increasingly more popular. As a matter of fact, over the past maybe three months, I've seen several professional photographers talk about processing images in this manner. Now, what I'm talking about is they try not to use any global adjustments at all. If anything, they may move an exposure slider slightly, but the bulk of the processing is done with the local adjustment tools. That is the brush, the graduated filter, and the radial filter. So this isn't really limited to just Lightroom. Really, any post-processing application could do what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, the idea here is you have greater control over the specific elements in your image if you process those elements individually, exclusive of the other elements. And it does have its merits. Now, in a landscape image, you would break it down into parts, probably the foreground, midground, and background. If you have a person in a shot, it's like a fashion street shoot or something like that, you'd have elements in that image. You'd have the person, you'd have the clothing, then you'd have the surrounding. So you break your image down into these different parts. Now this of course is a landscape shot. I have foreground, midground, and background. And I would process, I would begin by processing those parts of the image independently of one another using a brush. As a matter of fact, you may have noticed um, at least two very prominent uh, YouTube teachers, very fine photography YouTube teachers, are selling a set of brushes for Lightroom that do exactly what I'm showing you. Now what we're going to do here again is just use a brush to process the specific parts in this image. I'm going to start with the foreground. So I'm actually going to pull and you can see that no processing was done to this image at all. Nothing. So we're going to go to the brush tool and I'm just going to reset it by double clicking on the effect button right there. And what I want to do is open up the shadows for the foreground. So we're going to start there and I'm going to take the shadows adjustment and push that to the right. And I'm going to get a large brush and I'm going to have auto mask off. I have flow and density all the way to 100 and I have feathering pretty high at 87. So we'll start right there and we're going to do this foreground area or what I consider the foreground area, all right? We'll get a really big brush because we we're opening up the shadows down here. Now I'm going to start out there. I have the brush painted and I could come in and do some other adjustments as well. Now I'm going to skip the midground for a minute. We're going to jump right up to the background and do those clouds. I consider that a separate entity. So we're going to get a new brush. We'll double click on new. And for that brush, I'm going to bring highlights down to begin with. All right. So we'll start there. So right here and we're bringing highlights down on the background. Now when I get near the hills in the midground there, I'm going to turn the auto mask on so that hopefully uh, my brush stroke minimally adjust or does anything to those. So we're bringing highlights down on these, that part. Now I'm going to deal with that midground area and I'm going to double click on the, or I'm going to get new. Then I'm going to double click on the word effect to, um, to uh, reset everything. And what we do is we have a little haze here. So I'm going to go to the dehaze slider and open that up a little bit. And I think what we'll do is we'll go to shadows and open those up just a little bit. Now I could come in always and readjust things. So we're doing this kind of mid-ground area here. All right, so now I have actually uh, three different brushes, one for kind of this foreground to that midground area, then the one right there, and then one for the sky. So I have the three different brushes. Now I come in and I will just go back now to my foreground and I want to turn saturation up. I want to go to the whites and blacks uh, adjustments and kind of bring up whites, bring down blacks a little bit. And now we'll go back to this mid-ground area right here and I'll make that active by clicking on the pin and I want to, I opened up shadows already and I'll bring down highlights a little bit and then we'll go to the whites and blacks there. 
see what we could do there. I think what we'll do is that, and I'm going to bring saturation up on that, right? Now we'll go to the sky uh, brush up there, click on that, and now uh, I brought highlights down. We're going to bring saturation up. I think there we're going to bring some clarity onto that. There. And we'll go back uh, to the foreground. So we're jumping around between my three brushes. And here we'll add some clarity and some texture there. Now this midground, in my opinion, needs a lot of work. So we're going to go to this midground area, and I already increased saturation. Um, I'm going to bring up clarity quite a bit, add a little texture. I think on saturation, I'm just going to really crank it, bring it way up on that part. So you could see how if I was globally adjusting saturation, it would affect the sky and the foreground as well. In this case, it's just in this, what I'm calling the midground of the uh, photo, but you could argue that's the background, but you get the idea. So you see how these three different brush strokes um, are taking care of three very different parts of the image, and I'm doing specific adjustments to them. Now, if you want, you could add subsequent brushes to affect like smaller areas. For example, let's say that I want to get a new brush, so I'm going to click on New. I'm going to reset them, uh, the settings by double-clicking on the word Effect to reset those. Now I'm going to open up Shadows, and I'll come over here on this hillside here, which is rather dark. And I'm going to open up Shadows. Now I have Auto Mask on still from before, so we'll open up those that area there. So we're adding this fourth brush stroke. So you can see how you're specifically targeting um, very specific parts of your image. And we're going to bring, uh, where's highlights? I want to bring uh, highlights up. Make those bright parts a little brighter there. So uh, that's that. So I have five different brushes. No, I have actually four different brushes on this uh, photo. There's before and there's after. Before, after. Now I could go back up to the sky image. And I could bring shadows down a touch, too. Give me a little more drama overall. Now, the idea, you know, when you think you're done, if you want to add a vignette, uh, you could add the typical vignette that you normally would. Or what a lot of people are doing is they're staying totally local and they're going with the radial filter. And what they're doing is they're going to, like, uh, bring exposure down on this they're going to draw out a filter like the radio filter like this right then they're just going to hold the command or control key in and double click on the little pin that's right in the middle and when you do that it will expand out and touch all the edges then what you could do is you could come in with feathering and bring feathering down and bring exposure up like that so you're just adding that slight mm -hmm. vignette there's before the vignette and after the vignette. And that's it. That's kind of the, the 2020 method of processing an image. What do you think? Is this something that you think you would want to do? Um, I think it's kind of interesting. It gives you a little more control over the different elements in your image. And I could definitely see where it would be an advantage and where you'd be better able to process an image using this method. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below this video and all the gear info and settings I used will be in the description below the video as well. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.